had a foster father who was a preacher and he wore a tie all the time. And uh, I watched him tie the tie and uh, I thought I knew how to tie it. When I joined the Navy, uh, we were required to tie half Windsor. But I became so frustrated because I couldn't tie it even with the company commander's instructions. And so eventually I learned to tie it. But while I was in my frustration, I kept thinking, you know, a boy should know how to tie a tie. He should have taught me how to tie one. I didn't have an uncle, a cousin, a, a father, a brother, anybody older to help introduce me to the world. So I discovered that there were uh, things that I could do to improve myself from the inside uh, and then also from the outside. And I thought that since I was asked so many times about how I made it, I would put together this book. The book is part memoir, part self-improvement. It was great working with Denzel, and uh, my life uh, unfolding on screen was uh, cathartic, it was uh, mesmerizing, and it was really touching to me. It's almost like seeing your life played out standing in a mirror. I think it was important to include some of my past as I wrote this book, so uh, to give what, what I'm trying to convey uh, validity or to show how it was pertinent to know how to tie a tie or to balance a checkbook or to uh, understand that a credit card is not free money. There will always be occasions when you'll uh, find it necessary to tie a tie. I think that it shows that you're being respectful to the people who you are presenting yourself to as well as being respectful to yourself. So I titled the book, A Boy Should Know How to Tie a Tie, as a metaphor for everything else that's in the book.